Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to the NA International Middle School Online. My name is Jeff Clark. I'm the principal of Denny, and it's great to welcome you to this event tonight. The first thing we'd like to explain is that on your screen, you see two phone numbers for both Spanish and Somali language. If you would like to participate in this open house in either Spanish or Somali, please call the numbers listed on the screen. Thank you. Um, buenas noches, bienvenidos a la presentación de Denny International Middle School. Uh, esta noche vamos a hacer una presentación de bienvenida a todos nuestros uh, estudiantes para el próximo año, para el sexto grado. Vamos a tener líneas abiertas en español y en somali. La línea abierta para español va a ser el número 425-650-1381. Repito, 425-650-1381 y tienen que marcar el código 446861 para comunicarse. Bienvenidos. Uh, Kusto de Wada, Delhi International Middle School. Haldel Ubehantia Dujiman of Somalia. Fadlan Sowa Alumberka. Hal Sagal to Dovahal, Lava Lava Afor, Lechon to Dovestid, Kotkun Uyahi to Dovestid, Shan Sadeh, Sidesidate, Uruku Orinahi, Bejke Dilmula, Hostis, Lavaka Sawa. I'm a city. All right, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, as you can tell, I'm very proud of the Denny colors. This is my dolphin blue suit. We are the home of the dolphins, as you see behind me. And it's just such an honor to be the principal here and to welcome you uh, this evening. We're going to start by telling you a little bit about who we are and our mission and values. Our mission statement, academic excellence for every scholar in our global village. We believe that highly effective, diverse public middle schools are the key to advancing social justice in our democracy. Every day is a privilege and an honor to serve kids and our community. And I want to share with you that middle school is a big time of transitions, and we understand that. We embrace those changes. Kids quickly go from uh, young children to high schoolers in just three years. And it's a remarkable amount of time and a privilege to support them as they go through those changes. We are super committed to making sure that every child is thriving academically and emotionally and have plans in place to do our best to ensure that for every kid. We really believe we're setting every child up for success in high school, college, and life without exception. And we do that with strong relationships, high expectations, by being culturally relevant and anti-racist, and really creating thriving, highly engaging learning environments. One of the biggest strengths of Denny is our beautiful diversity. Our school has 880, excuse me, 880 scholars, and that's a really good size for a middle school because it allows us to offer a multitude of, of courses and clubs and programs for kids, and we've designed it in a way that we still get to know everybody individually and partner with each and every family. So as you can see from the screen, 29% uh, Latinx, 22% African-American, 23% white, 12% Asian, 2% indigenous, 12% multiracial, and 22 different home languages 
all come together in a beautiful way with a variety of religious and socioeconomic backgrounds towards our motto of we all belong. Part of those strong relationships is family involvement. We really encourage uh, parents and guardians to continue to be involved as, the, as their child enters the middle school years. It is natural for, for kids as they become teenagers to uh, as, assert their independence, and we, we uh, support that. But we also know that down the road, kids will really thank us as parents for continuing to be involved uh, in the middle school years. At Denny, we do something called home visits, where we'll reach out to you in August to set up a time to really learn more about your child and how we can best partner with your family before school, before school even begins. We have a lot of thoughtful ways to transition sixth graders in. For example, the first day of school at Denny is for sixth graders only. We're all here to help them make sure they find their way and make sure they're feeling fully ready. We have about 30 different community partners who help us in different ways to bring exciting clubs and offerings and supports to our kids and community. And we have a growing and thriving PTSA. Social emotional support is also really important to us. We deliver this through advisory lessons that are, are based on a certain curricula we use to really support kids socially, emotionally, um, and we define what we're looking for in terms of uh, the Denny way, helping to give kids goal areas and helping them to set and review progress uh, for their own learning and development. We want to do our best to replicate what we would do if we were in person. So we have a pre-recorded tour for you. Let's go ahead and take a tour of the school. Thank you for your patience as we pull up the tour video. Welcome, Denny Dolphins. My name is Mr. Camacho. I'm the restorative justice coordinator here at Denny, and I'm excited to take you guys on tour today. One fun fact before we get going, I, Mr. Camacho, was a graduate from here at Denny, and I walked across the stage and I too shook Mr. Clark's hand. And I'm doing a full circle, and I'm back here at Denny, and I'm here to give back to the youth in our community. Now let's go take a look. Here's the main entrance to Denny Middle School. Right as you enter these doors to your right hand side, there will be the main office where if you have any questions, they'll be able to answer it for you. Here we are on the sixth grade floor, and I know a lot of worries as an incoming middle schooler is how am I going to find my class? The school is humongous, but here at Denny, a lot of the times the classes are side by side. Here we are in our Denny Science Labs. Um, as you can tell, tons of space to, to collab and work together. We have computers for, for you guys when you're doing lab reports and things like that. Um, so here's one of our science room guys. Let's go take a look at the Denny Library. Oh, hey, glad you guys could find me. Uh, here's the library here at Denny. 
One of my favorite things here is our reading chairs. Man, these are comfy. I can grab a book and sit here during my whole lunch and, and read on. What's up, y'all? Um, one thing that makes Denny unique, I believe, is that we offer a fitness room here. I don't know any other middle school that offers a fitness room, but this is a room where you can surely take advantage of. Here we are in the kitchen. This is where you grab your pizza, your burger, your orange, your milk, and then you work your way out to the, to the lunchroom, right? The Galleria. And here's where you enjoy your food with your friends. We are here for the Denny Gym, one of my favorite places in the building. Um, this is where all the PE classes are, basketball games, volleyball games. So I hope you will be a future Dolphin and a future student athlete for us. Hey there, glad to show off one of the band rooms here. We offer orchestra, jazz, percussion, and choir. So hopefully you can find one of these hobbies or something that you already enjoy doing and you can get right into it and become a Denny Dolphin and help us out in the band. Welcome to the Denny Health Center. This is somewhere where our scholars, if they're not feeling well, you can ask your teacher for a pass to come visit the nurses here and you can get anywhere from a checkup to a sports physical and even counseling. Hopefully you take advantage of this area and you stay healthy. catch the bus, I got you covered. I am now walking down what we call the bus zone. This is where a bus will take you home or pick you up from home and bring you to school. Here we are, we're on Denny's Playfield. Um, we have some nice artificial turf for you guys. This is where you can enjoy your time after lunch, hang out with friends, play organized football, flag football, play soccer with your friends, and of course enjoy some basketball. And I'll catch you in the auditorium. All right, and we're here in the auditorium. This is where we have our live performances, assemblies, and concerts. Hey, there goes our principal, Mr. Clark. Thank you, Mr. Camacho. Hi, everybody. My name is Jeff Clark, very proud principal of Denny International Middle School. And it's an honor to welcome you here as part of this virtual tour today. I wanted you to have a chance to see what Denny was like, and I want you to know that if you are an incoming student, we are going to take care of you academically and socially for the next three years. Our goal is for you to be here one day with us when you walk across the stage and I shake your hand and you will be ready for success, not just in high school, but in college and life. We love our kids and are looking forward to you being a part of our community. It's going to be a great three years. Go Dolphins. Hello, future Dolphins and families. My name is Sue Hamilton. I'm the Assistant Principal for Literacy at Denny International Middle School, and it's my great privilege to speak with you this evening about our school staff and our instructional program. Our outstanding teachers work to ensure that every scholar is intellectually engaged in challenging content through well-designed learning tasks and activities that require complex critical thinking, student-to-student -student discourse and opportunities for all scholars to make their thinking visible. One content I'm super excited to share more about with you this evening is our literacy program. We are continuous, continuously building a strong culture of reading and writing. We support this culture of readers and writers in multiple ways here at Denny International. First, we have a dedicated assistant principal of literacy the Dolphin here, and a full-time school librarian collaborating to provide additional literacy resources and opportunities for scholars. Second, we host a wide variety of events to highlight reading, like March Madness, 
like spelling bees, like the Global Reading Challenge, and of course, writing celebrations. Third, we engage our scholars in culturally relevant and engaging text in both classroom libraries and the school library. Let's see a couple of examples of those texts. The first rule of punk from our social issues collection. Robots and drones from our informational collection. One of my personal favorites, Refugee from our historical fiction collection. And Divergent from our dystopian collection. Finally, I'd like to talk a little bit more about our Readers Writers workshop model that provides scholars one period of reading and one period of writing, which are back to back here at Denny International, which we commonly refer to as a block. The curriculum used in all of our literacy blocks comes from the Teachers College at Columbia University, and we call these units of study. Our instruction is launched from these units of study. We provide robust, authentic, and engaging opportunities for all scholars to grow as readers and writers. Now, let's learn a little bit more about workshop. Let's start our day warming up, reading and writing, getting ready to work. That is our do now. Then our new learning takes place in the form of a mini lesson or a read aloud. Scholars then have time to practice skills and strategies as well as meet with their literacy teacher in small group as other scholars are reading and writing independently. Finally, we come back together to share and show off our work for the day and show what scholars have learned. That is our share portion of the Reader's Writers Workshop model. Okay, readers, it's time to experience a read aloud. Grab something to write with, your Reader's Writers Notebook, a piece of paper, or a post-it. It is time to jot. As I read aloud to you today about rats, please jot down one idea that sounds super interesting to you. Rats, rats, and more rats. Good rats, bad rats, yummy rats, yucky rats, pet rats, pesky rats, storybook rats, laboratory rats, oh, rats. When I was a boy, my father managed a big construction company. One day as a special favor, he let me play in a pile of lumber at one of his jobs. It was fun at first, then in a flash, fun turned to fear. Thank you, it has been my pleasure to highlight our literacy program for all of you, and we cannot wait to see you scholars. Go Dolphins. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. My name is Moia Fields. I am the seventh grade um, administrator, and I will be talking to you guys today um, about our science program here at Denny. We are um, we have adopted the Amplify Science, and it's a unique phenomena-based approach. In each Amplify Science unit, students are asked to inhibit the role of a scientist or an engineer in order to investigate real-world problems. These problems provide relevant 21st century context through which students investigate different scientific phenomena. Once the problem, once the problem context is clear, students collect evidence from multiple sources and through a variety of modalities. They move back and forth from firsthand investigation to secondhand analysis and synthesis, formulating an increasing complex explanatory um, capacity for the problems at hand. Um, at the cultivation of each unit, students have an opportunity, scholars have an opportunity to apply their newly acquired knowledge um, to similar but different problems in novel and exciting circumstances. It's in the steps that students demonstrate deep understanding a key scientific phenomena. What's really interesting about our science is um, um, as students matriculate from the sixth grade to seventh and eighth grade, our um, science teachers focus on career and technical educations. There are 16 pathways in CTE, and we align um, our Amplify Science units with um, our STEM, with STEM engineering. So our scholars get an, um, an intimate opportunity to see how scientists and engineers work. Um, we started off um, in our first unit talking about microbiomes with um, an engineering internship 
And then the unit ends with another engineering internship, um, ending the unit with um, climate change. Some of the other interesting topics that scholars will explore throughout their science journey are geology and Mars, um, inspections of plate motion, um, matters of energy and ecosystems. Um, and for eighth grade, harnessing energy and then ending that unit with an engineering internship of natural selection. We also pride ourselves in um, having career and connected opportunities um, for all um, three grade levels in science, where students have opportunities to meet real world scientists that are working out in industry. Our, um, our female students are able to participate in Ignite, Inspiring Girls Now in Technology Evolution, where they um, have an intimate role in really learning um, more about the bigger engineering firms that are here, the local companies, and really hearing um, 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 personal experiences of what encouraged um, women to go into careers in the STEM field. Um, we also have great STEM opportunities um, for scholars um, to have opportunities, not just only um, in, in an in-classroom environment, but also during um, our extended learning and out of school time, and which you'll hear a lot more from Mr. Um, Clark um, with that. A little later in our presentation, you'll be able to um, actually um, meet a couple of our sixth grade science teachers. Thank you for allowing me to share a little bit about our science program here at Denny. Thank you so much, Ms. Hamilton and Ms. Fields. I am really proud of, of all of the great teachers that we have at Denny. We really have a terrific team here who love kids, love middle school, and really are subject matter experts as well. In terms of math at Denny, what I want everyone to know is that we have amazing academic growth happening at our school. And I believe one of the reasons for that is we have terrific teachers who give kids tons of support. And that includes not just in class time, but after school, um, we run programs for kids every break, like during spring break, midwinter break, we've got programs for kids to support them academically and also have enrichment offerings. And <clears throat> we extend learning throughout the summer with our own summer school um, throughout the month of July. One important thing to know about math and Denny overall is that we do something called standards based grading. And what that means is that kids have multiple opportunities to demonstrate their new learning. For example, we might be in sixth grade math. We might be in a unit on dividing fractions. We teach the unit. Kids have a chance to practice. Um, towards the end of the unit, we take an assessment to see how everybody's doing. A lot of kids will have already figured out how to divide fractions and they're ready to do something else. Some kids will still need some more help and support with dividing fractions. That's okay, we're set up for that. We've got more opportunities and support with dividing fractions. Then later, another assessment and we will replace the first grade with the most recent grade. And so in other words, if you take a test at Denny and you don't do as well as you had hoped, don't worry about it. We'll work together. We'll figure it out, give you some more support. We know you can do it. And then later you'll replace that grade with a higher one after you've learned how to uh, master that important skill. Social studies at Denny, um, all kids take social studies and we've embedded something called ethnic studies that's really important to us in all of our social studies classes. Dual language, that is a program for kids who are fortunate enough to already be bilingual in Spanish. Maybe they've attended uh, Concord International Elementary and have been in a dual language program already. Maybe they went to a different um, uh, elementary school or maybe just moved from California. Kids who already speak and um, read and write Spanish, we have an opportunity to learn core content classes 
in the Spanish language as well as in the English language. Extended learning time and support I mentioned briefly, but I want to expand that by saying at Denny, whether we're online or in person, we have extra free programs that start after school. Kids could be in a variety of different clubs, um, can participate in sports or just get more academic support. That happens every day after school. And as I mentioned earlier, we continue to provide positive experiences for kids with both learning and enrichment over breaks and throughout the summer. Thank you, Mr. Clark. Hello, Denny families. My name is Elliot Flavors, and I'm the eighth grade administrator here at Denny. I would like to present some information on some additional classes that we offer here at Denny. In addition to the core content areas that were just discussed, I would like to highlight some elective courses that we offer, which are classes that scholars can select to take their time throughout here at Denny in addition to their core content classes as well as share some information about two specialized programs we offer, ELL, English Language Learners, and IEP services for individualized education plans, also known as special education. The first set of our electives that we offer are music classes. The music classes that we offer are in the areas of band, orchestra, jazz band, mariachi band, choir, piano, and drumline. Our music classes support all levels of skill. So if you would like to simply try a music class out for a semester, then that is something that you can request with your counselor when you arrive here at Denny. Another elective we offer is art. Art is another class that draws a lot of attention, no pun intended. No matter what your skill level, art is a class that you are more than welcome to join. We also offer gateway to technology as an elective option. Our technology class is certifying scholars in several Microsoft applications right now, such as PowerPoint and Excel. If you are into coding, video games, or Minecraft, then this is the elective class for you. We also offer a continuum of services for our ELL and IEP scholars. We have a large and outstanding special education department here at Denny. Our special education department range, provides a range of services to ensure that our plan for your child is determined by the individual needs of each individual child. In our continuum of services, it ranges from full-time service to resource services, which can look like one to two general education class periods that are being taught in a co-taught classroom with one general ed teacher and one special ed teacher in the same classroom teaching together. We also have an outstanding ELL department. There are many similarities between the two programs related to the range of services and individualized planning. Specifically, our literacy and science ELL classes are co-taught with one general ed teacher and one ELL teacher in the same classroom teaching together. Individualized planning occurs in order to support the progress that your child is making here. We offer another set of elective courses related to world languages. Your scholar will have the opportunity to take exploratory classes and high school credit bearing classes in three different languages. The first being Spanish, second being Mandarin, and most recently added Arabic. Lastly, we have several electives related to community and leadership. We have leadership classes that are directly connected to supporting our communities of color. They are Proecto Saber, which is a class that supports our Latinx scholars. We have Shikachi, which is a class that supports our native scholars. And we also have Kingmakers, which is a class that supports our black boys here at Denny. The final leadership class I will introduce is called Youth Ambassadors. This elective course is offered through our social studies department and works to educate and empower our scholars through project-based learning and community engagement. At this point, I would like to pass it on to Mr. Rodriguez. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Flavors. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of great opportunities. And those are just electives. Those are the things that you can take during school that's offered. Now I get the honor of uh, talking to you about OST. 
and athletics that happens after school. Hello, everyone. My name is Ted Rodriguez. I am proud to be the sixth grade administrator here at Denny International Middle School. Our out of school program is one of the best in the state. We provide uh, out of school time and academic support Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. The hours of program hours from 2.50 p.m. to 4.20 p.m. Snacks are provided during that time. Scholars are dismissed at 4.20 p.m. to meet their families in front of the school or in a bus zone where buses are provided and leave at around 4.30. You have to register to be in this program and registration uh, is provided in the main office and online. On Mondays, for sixth graders specifically, on Mondays there we offer sixth grade math. On Tuesday, we offer we, Mondays and Tuesday we offer math for our sixth graders, and Thursday we offer literacy for the first hour. After that first hour, you get to go to an enrichment class that you get to choose. And unbelievable, meet a scientist, Dungeons and Dragons game club, beat shop, get real, soccer skills and drills, yearbook, nitty gritty club, GSA club, speed cube, community circle, my brother's keeper, Herman X and Unidex, robotics team, literacy league and a Harry Potter club. These are all enrichment. These are all fun things to do and uh, we encourage everyone to not only get academic help for that first hour in math or literacy and then take a snack and then go on to your enrichment classes. It's a lot of fun. I wish I was a sixth grader again. It would, it's awesome. Not only that, after school, you get to try out for athletics. And at Denny, we have three seasons. We have a fall season which includes girls soccer and co-ed ultimate frisbee. Winter sports, boys and girls basketball. In the spring, we offer volleyball, boys soccer and co-ed track. Now, what does it take to, to play? What does it take to be a, a, an academic athlete at Denny? You have to make sure you have a current physical on file. You make sure you have all the proper forms filled out uh, for to participate. And you have to maintain a 2.0 average. And if you're struggling with that, we can help you with that as well. So you can maintain your eligibility. The good thing about Denny, we don't we have tryouts, but we don't cut anyone. Everyone participates. We have tryouts to maybe put you to see what skill level you're at and, and put you in a place where you'll be successful and have fun. Everybody plays it, Denny. Everybody participates. Practice times. Practice times are two days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. There's no practices on Wednesdays. Our games are on Saturday and the times and the places are to be determined. We also provide transportation after practice and also to and from games on Saturdays. Practice times are usually from 3 to 415 and the reason for that is because the afternoon or the OST bus takes us home at 430 so we have to be ready to get get to that. OK, that, that's all I need that that's all I have to say. Welcome. To Denny, everyone, we're looking forward to having you here. And now I'd like to turn it over to a program that that is Denny's lifeline, not only to teachers and students for raising money and support to all of our teachers and scholars and communities. I'd like to turn it over to the Denny International PTSA.
Hello, Denny families. My name is Nancy Sanabria, and I'm the co-president of the PTSA this year. Really proud to serve and proud to be part of the Denny family community. This is going to be a tough year. It's new for all of us, but we're in it together. Um, I want to be sure that you know that we're here to support our families. We want you to join the PSA and to be a part of making the best school year possible for all of our kids. I can't wait to meet you. Hi, Denny PTSA Parent Teacher Student Association welcomes you to a magnificently different school year. I'm Mercedes Diggs, co-president this year, and I'm looking forward to seeing you at our online monthly meetings so we can work together. We need each other more than ever. Families need to partner together with the school and our team is here to make that possible. Come join us. Look for the links in the newsletter and welcome, welcome to Denny. Hi, welcome back Denny Dolphins. My name is Lichelle Lucas. I will be this year's PTSA Vice President. We look forward to meeting you. Um, we look forward to having a great start of the new year. Feel free to check us out and reach out if you are interested in becoming a part of the PTSA. And we hope that you have a great start to the new school year. All right, thanks everybody. I want to share a couple more thoughts about programs at school and then we're going to talk just a minute about our, our building that we have here uh, to serve our, our community. One more thing I want to say about math at Denny is we have kids placed into the math level that they're ready for. This includes sixth graders, of course, who are taking sixth grade math as well as whole classes of sixth graders who are taking seventh grade math. This continues on, so kids have opportunities in math to take both algebra and geometry while they are here with us in middle school, which are ninth and tenth grade classes. Another thing that's important to know about the great literacy program that Ms. Hamilton described, she was the one in the cool dolphin suit, is that everybody's reading at their just right level. That means when kids are working on a certain skill, a certain reading skill, they might be practicing that in a book that's in the sixth grade reading level, or maybe even at the 12th grade reading level. All of that's possible because it's a differentiated learning model to take care of our, all of our advanced learning needs. State-of-the-art school. I've been really fortunate. I've been the principal at Denny for 15 years. Actually, this is my 16th year. My own children have come through Denny and they're now in high school and college. In 2011, we had a chance to design a brand new Denny. We used to be up the street by the tennis courts and the pool. When we moved here, we had a chance to build a new building which is just an incredible facility. We wanted to show you this map of our campus because there's a middle school side and then there's a high school side of campus. Some people were worried when we first moved here